Hello guys, and to this video I'm gonna be doing a review on the Camrose B playing cards. Now this is a deck which was made for the Camrose Casino, and let me show you how this looks like. All right, so let's open the deck. Just like that. As you can see, here is the back of the box. The back looks like this. There's written Camrose Resort Casino. Here on the deck, on the back of the deck, there's written date, name, game, and table. This is for the casino, so they can write which date, time, game, and which table they played on with this deck of cards. And also here is written which date this was produced on the deck. Here is how the side looks like. Diamondback Club Special. And here is Cambris Finis or Cambric or how it's pronounced. The front looks almost like every other B deck. And the side looks like this. And the top looks like this. As you can see, the sticker is a little bit more to the side, so you can read the B logo down here. So let's open it. Just like this. And here's a piece of plastic here on the box, so the cards, they do not get messy or in dirt or something like that. And here are the cards. You get a card which is like this. And it's blank on the other side, as you can see. You also get another card which looks like this. Here is how the joker looks like, just like this. We get two jokers and ace of spades. The ace of spades looks just like this. This is a very nice ace of spades which has been in a lot of decks. And the difference between these ace and the other ace of spades is that it has a jumbo index and the spade is different. Here is how the spades they look like. I like how the spades they look like. I like how the spades they are stretched up a bit more. This looks very nice in my opinion. As you can see, here are how the picture cards they look like. Here is the deck of spades, queen of spades, king of spades. And here are how the diamonds they look like. The diamonds are nice as well in my opinion. I like how the diamonds are bigger and they fit a lot more. I like this deck very much because of the big pips and when you're playing in casino sometimes it can be very difficult to see the pips. So this is very good for casino games and also just for card magic if you're doing this for a lot of people. So I like how the pips are bigger and I like how the diamonds and spades and hearts and clubs how big they are. It is very nice. Here are how the picture cards they look like once again. King of clubs. The clubs are just like the spades and all those other ones. They are bigger and stuff like that. But they still look very nice and it is and it is a very good deck of cards if you are going to use it for gambling or demonstrations. So here are the hearts, as you can see, here is the king of hearts, queen of hearts, and jack of hearts. If you are a magician, or if you are a guy who likes to play with cards, then you will notice that these hearts look much better than the standard bicycle hearts. They seem to be more full, and they seem to be more rounded than the normal hearts. Or that's what I just think at the moment. But the hearts, they look very nice, as you can see. Just like that. That is the whole deck and let's take a look at the back. The back is very special actually. It has a diamond back. As you can see it is diamonds all over the deck. And then we have the Camrose Resort Casino on this side and the other side as well. Now this is a nice deck. It can be used for stuff like gambling and second deals if you want to use it. Now, here is a little difference between the standard bicycle decks and this deck. So when you get the cards out of the box, you will find out some stuff. You will find out that the cards are not as slippery as the standard bicycle deck. Now this deck is made for the Camrose Casino 
and why this deck is not as slippery as the other decks it is because when you're in the casino and shuffling the deck it can be very difficult to shuffle a deck which is very slippery as bicycle decks. The cards are not slippery because it makes it a lot easier to shuffle the cards and deal them out. So what I like about the deck is that it has the cabric finish which makes the deck not as slippery as the bicycle ones. But anyways I would recommend this deck for casinos and home games. I would also recommend this deck for magicians who are having tough times learning some difficult slides or flourishes. Now why I would do that is because of the finish that this deck has. So if you're a magician, if you're a beginner magician who's trying to learn some slides and flourishes and if you're having tough time learning some of the difficult slides or even the easy ones then try getting this deck and it will maybe be a lot easier for you and for your hands. So anyways I just want to say thanks a lot for watching, I really hope you enjoy this and in the description there's going to be a link of where I got this deck of cards. So once again, thanks a lot for watching, make sure to like, comment and subscribe, and see you next time.